Hello, my name is Dennis, and welcome to my Trailer Park White Trash Mobile Home Kitchen. I really do live in a mobile home, in a trailer park, and this is my kitchen. Michelle, a fan of the website, sent me a recipe from Mexico for something that she calls Power Bites. They're a snack food, and when I read through this recipe, I thought this would be perfect to make with children because there are no sharp implements involved. You don't need to use the oven. You need to do a few things in advance, but you can do that and then bring the kids together, make these things together. They're little morsels of snack food that should be fun to make and fun to eat. So let's get into the ingredients to make these Power Bites. The ingredients are all things that children would find fun to eat. What you need is about one half cup or 135 grams of peanut butter. You can use either smooth or crunchy. I'm using all natural peanut butter. One half cup, about 170 grams of honey. One half cup or about 43 grams of rolled oats, otherwise known as old fashioned oats. I toasted these in the oven for about 10 minutes on a cookie sheet at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. That's about 175 degrees centigrade. Three quarter cups, the grams are gonna vary of dried fruit and or chocolate chips and or nuts. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make three different kinds of these Power Bites. So I have one quarter cup of chopped cashews. That's about 34 grams one quarter cup of dried cranberries, about 28 grams, and then finally one quarter cup or 43 grams of semi-sweet chocolate chips. Then I have six tablespoons of instant non-fat dry milk powder, one half teaspoon of vanilla extract, and then finally I'm estimating about one cup or 75 grams of shredded coconut. This is for coating the Power Bites I might need more, I might need less. I'll know when I get to that point. So those are the ingredients for my Power Bites. My first step here is to combine my basic ingredients. So my peanut butter. Honey. Toasted rolled oats, the dry, non-fat dry milk powder, and then finally my vanilla. And I just want to get this mixed together. Okay, so that has turned into kind of a stiff paste there. My next step is I want to divide this into three because I want to make some with cranberries, some with chopped cashews, and some with semi-sweet chocolate chips. So I'm going to make these with chocolate chips. That's about a third of my batter there. Get this all mixed together. And you just kind of want to distribute those chocolate chips easy. I mean, evenly, there isn't a lot to do there. And then the next step is to start rolling these into little balls and then coating them with shredded coconut. I lined a baking sheet with parchment paper and I put my coconut on a plate I'm just going to pick up a small amount of this. You want little bites, like maybe, oh, about an inch, maybe. What's that, three and a half centimeters? Get it nicely coated with the coconut. It's as simple as that. Place that on a cookie sheet. I'm just finishing up here. This is the last of it. I did add another half cup of coconut to this dish. So I'm going to change the recipe to, to one and a half cups 
of shredded coconut. What's that? About 110 grams in order to get everything properly coated. And you could use unsweetened coconut if you want. I know if kids are involved, they're probably going to want sweetened coconut. Okay. So there they are. I got 32. So this goes into the refrigerator. It has to cool for about 30 minutes to kind of solidify that. And then they'll be ready to eat. So there they are, all stacked up like mini cannonballs. The last step is to see how good these taste. Okay, let's see which one I want. I think I want a cranberry one. <laughs> I know this is going to be delicious. Yeah. Sweet, but not overly sweet. I mean, the honey provides just enough sweetness by using the um, all-natural peanut butter. There's no sugar in the peanut butter. Oh yeah, that's good. I'm not going to eat all of those. Those are going to go to my neighbors, but I'm going to enjoy this one. For a printable PDF copy of this recipe with step-by-step -step photographs, visit the White Trash Cooking website and look on the home page or in the recipe archive.